Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be installing a Belimo actuator and valve body for a HVAC unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So the difficult part on this job is actually getting to this valve. It's actually that one right there. This is a large auxiliary drain pan. I'm gonna wonder if I can loosen these screws and possibly slide this down so I can actually stay on this ladder and work directly underneath. This is supported here. I can't fully reach it. I don't really wanna set up a ladder here. So I'm gonna try to move this condensate pan and squeeze between these pipes so I can get to this valve. So hopefully now I can shift this a little on, on the other side. Okay. So I can get that a little bit. This duct strap is in the way enough, but if I really do move this down, I should be able to have access. So this strap is actually hanging this whole thing up. So I'm just gonna unscrew these and just strap it in a different way just so I can like move this pan a little bit just <laughs> so we can get this job done. Now it is not in our way, we're still supported. And I'm just gonna try to, you know, move this as much as I can. This is best as we're gonna get it. But, whew, I could actually get up here. It's pretty uncomfortable, but I could actually reach it. So, that's what we're gonna do. I had to move this whole huge pan over. So, we're set up. And I'd rather be on this ladder and safe to do this job. All right, I shut the unit off on the thermostat. And we're gonna close our valves. All right, so we got the valves closed. And we're gonna pick the lowest point here. And we're gonna drain this coil. All right, so we're changing the valve up there. So I'm draining from below. So the lowest point of the coil, it's going into that bucket. And for this to really drain properly, you wanna get some air through this pipe. So there's a pipe right up there. That when I open this up, you can hear air moving through. And down below, we're draining much faster now. Hopefully you can see the water moving. And once we're drained, we can start taking this apart. I see a union in here and thank whoever put that in. You are the man. All right, we are completely done draining and we can now get up there and start this repair. Now we're up here, I'm just gonna loosen this up just so I could get this actuator out of my way so I can look into the wiring after. All right, so that's that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this union and spin off this valve. I'm actually squeezing in between here. Let me show you how I get up there. I gotta actually raise my hands up just so I can squeeze my body through. And we're here. So let's spin off this union and this valve. Okay. A little bit of water left in the pipes. Whenever disconnecting a valve is always good to get a little, little bucket or something. So that's that. Then we're gonna spin this off my new valve body is uh, might be slightly smaller because this one is actually a different valve. It didn't have the exact same one. So what we did is we just went with uh, just a new valve body. It's the, the same size and the same ratings as far as the actuator. All right, 
out so here's our two valves so what we're gonna do is now take off this union with the nipple attach it onto here make everything nice and neat rethread the nipple on the opposite end and pretty much just reverse the process so it's looking like the valve body is just about the same so we're not going to have a problem with getting this to fit because this is all hard pipe so let's start by taking this apart moving over those pieces onto this valve and just reversing the process it looks like previously they had an issue with this union leaking because there's teflon tape on the union and you really don't need that so just something to be cautious about loose it's gonna reduce some of this Teflon and we're basically just gonna attach this now into this piece and just like I said redo everything the opposite way threads are redone and I also like to put PTFE paste for extra support everything looks super neat our arrows facing the right way and it's time to go up there spin this bond and close our union right, so we're back up here I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit and what we're gonna do is put Teflon tape along with the Teflon paste and spin our valve back on Right there, I caught the thread. We're gonna spin this on. All right, this valve is on. From here, we just need to lock down our union. All right, that's now tight. All right, so this is it, everything looks good. This needs to be wired from here, but I'm just gonna open our valves to make sure we have no leaks. And once I can confirm there's no leaks, we can just connect our two wires, which is 24 volts. So let's open these valves. All right, that's open. Slowly open that. We're just gonna disconnect the two wires coming from the old actuator and connect it to the new one. So this is our heating valve. So now everything's good, no leaks, everything is wired up. So now when we call for heat on our thermostat, this valve is gonna open and fill up our coil with hot water. And the fan is gonna blow across that coil and provide heating for the area all right as you can hear our fans have started our valve has opened we have no leaks and from here we're just going to check temperatures and this job is complete if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all next time